if you think of how we prove trustworthiness online um, it, or in general in our life, take the example of going to try and open a bank account. So you'll hear the words holder, receiver and issuers quite often during this presentation. And hopefully this gives you some context. So imagine you go to a bank and you want to open a bank account. The bank might reply and say, show me your passport, give me a selfie, give me these three or four other documents that allow me to check your identity or check who you are, who you say you are. Um, and what the bank or the receiver of this information then often has to do is they have to go ask the original issuers or sub proxies of them to say, can I trust what is in these documents? What that usually results in and why it's hard right now is um, you as the holder of that, of that information can't have access to what you need to uh, because it takes in the range of minutes to weeks to check things. Uh, for the bank or the receiver of the information, it takes time, effort and money to check whether this information is correct. And they often have to make payments in the range of, say, 10 to hundreds of dollars as they go to the original issuers or some of their authorized agents and proxies to find out if these things are correct.